Hi, this is Harry Guinness for Tuts Plus, and in this tutorial, the third in my series on Text Expander, I'm going to look at using scripting languages like JavaScript and Apple Script in your Text Expander fill ins. These scripting languages let you use simple programming logic to return a different result depending on what day of the week it is, as I'm going to do in this snippet here, or entirely at random. For more information, check out the written post below. To continue, you should really have read the previous tutorials in this series and also have at least a passing familiarity with what a scripting language is and what it does. For this, I'm going to use JavaScript. So I've got a new uh, text expander snippet open. I'm going to go to the content and change that down to JavaScript. You can see there's these a little bit of instructions from text expander use the text expander object to append output or just date and time or use the follow statement as the snippet expansion value eg javas plus script plus result that would return javascript result i'm going to get rid of that and i'm just going to write my own so what this is going to do is if it's a monday tuesday wednesday or thursday it's going to return the line i'll get back to you tomorrow and if it's a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, it's going to return the line, I'll get back to you after the week end. So I'm going to use JavaScript's date function for most of this. So first thing is to create a variable called today. And this is going to store the date information about the day. So it's going to be assigned to a new and then date. Two brackets and a semicolon. To close that out. Next we need to set the today value to when you're running the snippet. So we're going to combine that with a text expander function. So we're going to do today.set date and then use text expander dot base date, which is the time you run the expansion dot get date brackets close the other bracket semicolon so now the today variable is set to the date when you run the snippet to get the result i want i'm going to use a simple if statement so if today dot get day checks what day of the week it is with zero being sunday and six being saturday so we're going to see if the today dot get day is five which is friday or today dot get day is six which is saturday or today dot get day is zero which is sunday then we want to return a single apostrophe for a string literal. I, then I got to escape before the apostrophe for part of I'll, otherwise it's going to give me an error. I'll get back to you after the weekend. Add a space there so that I'm ready to continue writing after I run this line. And then close out the if before running on to the else. And again, we're just going to return check I'll, sorry, got to escape before the I'll get back to you tomorrow. I just noticed something very important. I'm missing a semicolon after I'll get back to you after the weekend. Always make sure to include all the relevant semicolons when you're writing in JavaScript. Close out the curly braces, and then we're just going to give this an abbreviation X test and we'll see if this does what it's meant to. I'm going to open a new text edit document. And then I'm just going to run X test. I'll get back to you after the weekend. As I record this, this is a Sunday, so that appears to have worked. Now to test whether this will work for every other day of the week, I'm going to change this zero to a four, which is Thursday, I believe. So this should now say I'll get back to you tomorrow which it does. So this appears to work. For more information on setting this up for yourself and also another example that uses 
scripting languages in Text Expander, check out the written post below.